by studying the characteristic of the transistor we can find the new voltage the current current gain and current amplification factor so we shall now do the experiment this is the transistor characteristic apparatus there is a microammeter milliammeter and voltmeter built in built inside the apparatus we also have a regulated power supply of 5 volt dc and another regulator power supply of 12 volt dc built in the circuit we have to now connect the terminals to start the experiment so we'll see where we have to connect first we have the battery regulator power supply between these two terminals here there's a resistor which is built in between the term between these two terminals here we have to connect the microammeter there is symbols written here the positive of the microammeter should be positive and negative should be connected to the next negative here we have to connect the milliammeter and the corresponding polarities have to be maintained here we'll be connecting the voltmeter to measure the collector emitter voltage and between these two terminals we have 12 volt dc regulated power supply so now we shall go ahead with the connection of the circuit first we'll connect the power supply this is the positive terminal of the 5 volt dc power supply now we'll connect the negative terminal of the power supply the positive terminal is connected to the resistor which is already built inside the apparatus from the resistor it goes to microammeter so this is the positive terminal of the microammeter so the positive terminal of the microammeter should be connected to the positive negative sim negative terminal of the microammeter should be connected to the negative terminal here and the negative terminal of the milliammeter should be connected to the negative terminal of the symbol shown here positive terminal of the milliammeter goes to the positive symbol now we'll connect the battery 12 volt dc regulated power supply positive and the negative now the circuit is closed we have to measure the voltage so to measure the voltage we have a voltmeter to measure vce we have to connect the negative of the voltmeter to the negative sign shown here and the positive of the voltmeter positive terminal of the voltmeter to the positive sign sign shown here this will measure vce to measure vb all we have to do is to shift this terminal to the positive terminal of vbe the base emitter voltage the negative terminal of the voltmeter is common to both vbe and vce so to start the experiment there are two two characteristics the input characteristic and the output characteristic to do the input characteristic we should know it's a characteristic of base emitter voltage and the base current keeping the collector emitter voltage as constant so to keep the collector emitter voltage constant first we'll measure the collector emitter voltage for that we have to move the positive terminal of the voltmeter to the positive terminal of the collector emitter voltage So now we we'll switch on the circuit to start doing the experiment. Reduce the voltage. Increase the VCC, the 12 volt DC regulator sub supply. The upper knob is fine and the lower knob is coarse. So we'll start increasing. will bring it to a constant voltage of 2 volt
we'll keep the collector emitter voltage constant fixed at 2 volts then we shall vary the base emitter voltage and record the values of current corresponding values of current so to measure the base emitter voltage we have to move the move the wire connected to the positive terminal of the voltmeter to the positive terminal of the base emitter voltage so once we connect it the voltmeter now starts to measure the base emitter voltage so we'll start varying this voltage in steps of 0.1 and we have to note down the respective values of the base current for when the base emitter voltage is 0.1 the base current is showing is 0 we can see 0.2 it's 0 0.3 it's 0 0.4 it's 0 0.5 it's 0 at 0.6 we can see this 5 microampere 0.7 the current increases very fast now so it's an exponential increase we can see it's 48 microampere so we can similarly do till 0.8 volts and we can see the increase in current is too steep so at 0.8 it's 125 microampere this is the input characteristic of the transistor now we will do the output characteristic to do the output characteristic we should know that the output ca characteristic is the characteristic of the collector emitter voltage and the collector current keeping the base current as constant to do that first we will reduce this voltage the base emitter voltage to zero so we bring next the collector emitter voltage to zero now we will shift the wire from VBE to VCE because now we have to vary the collector emitter voltage and not down the collector current at constant values of the base current. So now we will keep a constant value of base current so let it be 50 microampere. Once the base current is fixed constant we can now start varying the collector emitter voltage in steps of 0 0.1, 0 0.1 volts now the collector emitter voltage is 0 0.1 volt we can see the collector current is 3 milliampere 3 milliampere now we can increase the voltage to 0 0.2 volt it is 5 milliampere 0.3 volt it's 6 milliampere 0.4 it's 6 so now we can see that the current collector current has reached a saturation value which is constant it's not increasing any further so this gives the output characteristic of the fan system so now we can do the next step next trial we have to increase the base current to 100 microampere so here the base current is fixed at 100 microampere we have to repeat the same process vary the value of the collector emitter voltage increase in steps of 0.1 at 0.1 The knob is very sensitive, so we have to be careful. At point 0.1 it is 5 milliampere. At point 0.2 it is 12 milliampere. At point 0.2 it is 11 milliampere. At point 0.3 we can see it is 12 milliampere. So now the current has reached saturation, this is the constant value. So this gives the output characteristic of the transistor.
to study the input characteristics of a transistor plot the graph of the base current against the base emitter voltage we get a graph as shown extend the linear region of the graph so that it cuts the x axis the voltage at which it intercepts on the x axis gives us the new voltage to study the output characteristics plot a graph of collector current ic against the collector emitter voltage vce for both values of base currents ib1 and ib2 we get two curves as shown in the figure extend the saturation regions for both the curves onto the y axis to get ic1 and ic2 using the values of ib1 ib2 ic1 and ic2 calculate beta using the value of beta calculate alpha